The weather may be less than perfect outside, but inside your vehicle, you and your passengers can have the perfect temperature. Let's take a look at your climate control system. Control panel. Let's take a look at the control panel. In general, you will control your temperature on the left-hand side and the passenger on the right. Turn this clockwise or counterclockwise to turn the climate control system on or off. Interestingly, you can also turn the system back on by pushing any of these other buttons. Air conditioning, defrost, or auto. You can manage your in-car climate control automatically or manually. For automatic settings, press the Auto button. When Auto is selected, the temperature, airflow, and fan speed will be controlled by the temps you set for you and your guests. Set the temperature for driver and passenger by dialing up or down. If you're on the same wavelength, just press the sync button like this, and the passenger temperature setting can be instantly set to match the driver temperature setting. Sometimes we're all in the mood to just control our own climate. Here's how to use the climate control system manually. As soon as you dial the fan up or fan down on the center control, the fan speed will change and the auto light disappears. If you hit any of the air delivery buttons, you can change the direction of the airflow. To manually select where the air blows, press the desired mode. Here are your choices. Vent, by level, floor, and defog. Hit the defrost button when you need to clear the windows more quickly. Hit the rear window defog button when you need to clear the back windshield. The rear window defogger uses a warming grid to remove fog from the rear window. It automatically turns off several minutes after it has been activated. You can also manually control when the air conditioning is on or off by pressing the AC button here. Another way to assist in quickly cooling the inside of your vehicle is to use the recirculation option. This keeps outside air and odors from entering your vehicle while cooling the vehicle quickly. Note, recirculation cannot be used with floor, defog, or defrost modes. A solar sensor in the defrost grill in the middle of the instrument panel monitors the solar heat. Make sure not to cover this up as it will affect the system performance. Rear controls. To activate the rear climate control system, press the rear button on your center stack in the front controls. Rear passengers can then control the fan speed temperature, and select one of three air delivery modes, vent, by level, and floor. Heated and cooled seats. Your vehicle may be equipped with heated and cooled seats to make you and your passengers even more comfortable when the temperatures are extreme. The buttons to control the temperature of your seats are located here. To operate this feature, your engine must be running. Press the Cooled Seat button, if available, to cool the entire seat. This is the button you press to heat both the seat and the seat back. Press each button up to three times to change the temperature, with three lights showing that you are at the highest setting. Something to remember about these temperature-controlled seats, when using a remote starter, the seats may turn on automatically, but will be cancelled when the ignition is actually turned on when you get into the vehicle. You will then need to press the desired buttons again to continue to use heated or cooled seats. Is everyone comfortable? <laughs>